Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We got the solo out here today on the beach. Beautiful day. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this guy up. I've got the Thy Eye camera on here, and I think I might have gotten some of the video issues I've been having worked out with this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and lift off. I've got 10 satellites. I'm going to start the motors. And so I'm going to lift it up and let it get acclimated. I'm uh, actually recording video on the thy eye. I've got this circular polarizing filter on it. And uh, so far, so good. So I've got it looking down. I think I might have to adjust the angle of it a little bit to look more forward. Uh, I'm up about six meters. I'm gonna get up about ten meters. And let's fly it out there a ways. Now we have FPV. Let's see how this does. Still looking down a little bit too much. But um, again, as I think I get up there, I'm up about 60 feet or so now. And yeah, I think I'm going to have to adjust that camera up a little bit. And we're just taking it out. And I think I'm up there good enough. I'm on the buoy. I'm going to try flying the buoy. See if I can make it out to the buoy. And uh, back. So beautiful blues on the water from the circular polarizing filter. Yeah, you notice you can. it's doing some adjustment because of the backlight. So, uh, looking pretty good. And we're getting out there. So we're getting out there about 300. I want to see how the signal does at about 300, because that's pretty good. So far I'm pretty happy with this. Now that I backed off the stick, that's a little bit better view. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a Norbert Yaw party. And we're just kind of panning things around. Now I think it still needs to go up a little bit. It's looking too much down. Although I can in general see where I can see uh, where I'm at, but um, you can see the shore up there, but just kind of looking around. Yeah, camera needs to come up a bit. Uh, but you can see the water. See some internal glare too from the uh, thy eye. Still pretty bright out here, no clouds today. And so we're just moving around. And what I want to do is I want to go back to see if, um, see how my map mode is doing. So I don't see my map mode. Ah, uh, maybe if I zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. Well, actually, it looks like the, I don't know if that's a boat or a buoy on there. But let's see if I point it back around, see if I can get my orientation. If I go slow enough, if it won't point back. Yeah, I'm sorry, this video is not going to be too exciting, but we ha it does appear we, ha we have it worked out. And um, so that's a good thing. And I just want to turn it back around this way. And I'm going to bring it back in this way, back towards me. Oh, I like that. So it's got the little house there. It's just that this, the arrow is a little bit slow on adjusting. There, I think I'm coming back in towards myself a little bit, so from out there. Um, I am up a bit, so about 90, 100 feet or so. And so, uh, got another ship coming down that I want to fly on here in a little bit with the Spark. So I probably won't keep this flight too much. I wanted to just, number one, test to see if uh, 
see if this whole thing would work. And, <clears throat> excuse me, apparently it does. And, uh, so there's where it is sit sitting out there. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer. So it's about 300 feet out from me. Ah, there it is. <clears throat> So let's uh, do a little bit of a yaw party. Still too much downward look for my liking. So we'll have to do some adjustments. You can see sort of up lake, but it really does get that blue water out there. And just some really beautiful, beautiful views. That polarizing filter on the thigh eye really does a nice job. I'm not sure if it'll work in the 4K mode. I was reading on the Solo that the HDMI only takes a, a 1080p input. So uh, that's, that's what I have it set at right now is just 1080p. And so I'm just circling around. And looking down. I'm going to bring this back around towards me. And I'm going to bring it back back in a little bit. And I'm going to turn it around so it's facing back out. And I'm going to bump it over this way, and I'm going to bump it back, and I'm going to start, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Boy, this is just one steady flyer. It's like an oversized spark. And I'm going to bring it back over and you probably hear, hear the buzzing of bees. And uh, pretty good. We, uh, uh, boy, I tell you, this looks like a stealth bomber. I think I'll see if I can't cut in some hack cam video here, here that. But uh, actually I'm going to cut in, see if I can cut in some hack cam video. Because one of the things I've done is I've modified the bottom of it to have the cable come out back so it's not coming out on the uh, gimbal side. So I'm going to move this away from me a little bit and back it up a little bit. So. Uh, I tell you what, folks, this is a heck of an aerial platform. A little bit noisy, but you can see the die eye on it. And again, holding pretty, pretty steady. So anyways, I'm going to, we still got a uh, pretty good battery, but I'm going to bring it down because I want to fly on that ship. All right, so. We've taken it down. It's been a great flight of the uh, the solo. Uh, hopefully, you can see it. I've got it in the hat cam. I cut a hole in the back of the uh, the bottom plate up there for the cable to come out, and I cut a zip strip, and so that allowed me to take that out back rather than through the gimbal hole, which has really increased. Um, you know, it doesn't pull as hard, and I have more cable to work with. Because, uh, you know, notice I got the uh, ferret bullen or whatever the heck that's called there for uh, EMI stuck outside now. That's normally stuck inside. So you can see how much, um, you know, extra cable I've gotten out of this guy. So, which is really pretty good. So, anyways, I'm real happy with this so far. Thank you, Drone Warship, again. Uh, I think you gave me a good one. The ghost, eh, I'm still uh, messing around, having some issues with it. 
But anyways, hey, let me know what you guys think for lunch, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.